Hi everyone, building a microservice app has never been easier than it is today. You can easily turn your idea into live with a handful of tools and most of them are for free. Today I'm going to show you how you can use N810, Epify and Softer and Google Spreadsheet in order to build a directory website. So let's dive into it. I have built a directory site to share funding announcement. There are a lot of startups get funding every single day. I am going to grab all the funding announcement from the web. And in this case, we are using Epify. Epify is a um, API store where you can rent APIs and, and you, you can do many things. So in this case, I'm using this one, Google search results. And yeah, initially you will get $5 for free and you don't have to pay them. So it's called Actor. You can rent as many as actor if you want. What it does, we have a search parameter fund or fund or funding and raises. That means we will search for keywords fund or funds or funding and raises. So any of these keyword will be here in the Google and with this one. That means we will mostly get all the funding announcement uh, because this keyword will always be there in any funding announcement happen. That is why we are using this uh, Boolean search. You have uh, you have here options number of results per page. So I have 100 page because so that there are not any good result. You can do uh, two pages as well. And then you have locations. Okay, th that is very important. Quick date range. You have to make sure you are getting the latest data. And that is why you have to select D1 means 24 hours before so anything that comes 24 hours will be a scrap but if you are adding like D10 that means 10 days before so that's how it works and we don't need any additional things and then you can just simply start here you don't have to start here because we are using an item and it will automatically run that for you so you just have to set up those things and you have to come here and then you have to copy this part that's your job right cool now i'm going to show you how we are building the workflow first step is a manual trigger and then we have the epify http request where we are going to connect the epify actor and uh, so the method will be post so you, you can go at any time here and integration then use api endpoint you can go here and then you have to find what you are looking for and i need this run task synchronously and get that asset items so that's what i need you just have to copy you don't have to collect uh, the api key manually you can copy it and api key will be here and paste it here then authentication none send body you have to toggle this then just json and then using json specify body and this is where you have to copy these json input right so this is the json input that you have to copy and paste so just make sure that the parameters and query is correct now you have to just copy and paste it here and that's it run test and see okay so it's successfully run now we will see the data um, the data are basically here in this um, tag or organic results. So you can see it scrap the first 100 results with title, URL of the article, then the description of that article. So that's what we need. So and obviously computers start counting from zero. So it's the result one. Yeah, around 98 results. That's fine. Now you have to split out those data uh, using this node split out and you will be able to split out 98 data in separate parameters so as you can see it's 98 items and we can then loop over items individually now we have to set a loop over item node here if you don't know how loop over items work i have a video uh, about that i explained how it works and you can go watch now we are using loop over item in order to process the data individually and making sure that it's a tech startup and it's a funding announcement because there might be some other results as well that i'm going to show you that is not a funding announcement neither a tech startup so that is why we have to filter them out now what we have to do here add a field node simply so let me run this real quick so if if i run this once we have 98 items here and the loop over um, items will allow only take one item and process one item at a time now we have edit field I click here title obviously the title this this one is the title and then url we are taking the url and then uh, description we are taking the description here just drag and drop that's it and the date they date might be helpful in some cases we have a chunk of data individually of for example title url and description and the date so these are the four data that is very important in order to complete the next process now we are adding a white node here just to be safe 
because sometimes when you are using LLM, have some sort of uh, limitation, API call limitation, just so just to be safe and it doesn't happen any error. I just added a one second wait here. So it wait one second every single time and then send data to this basic LLM chain. So we are using at the moment ChatGPT 4.0 mini. You can use open router. There will be a lot of options you can use for free. Let me show you the prompt. Now, <clears throat> I'm telling the AI that we are trying to analyze the title and description and understand whether it's a funding announcement or not. If it's a funding announcement for a tech startup, uh, then it will move in a direction. And if it is not, then it will output as not fit. So this is why we have this prompt. You can see the prompt is here. So yeah, just let me run this. Okay. Now you can see the prompt is here. Um, we have added the title and the description. So this LLM will analyze the data and try to understand whether it's a funding announcement or not. Okay, let's run this. And we will identify whether it's a funding announcement or not. If it's not a funding announcement, then it will say simply not fit and we can filter that out with if not. So the output is simply here. It's a funding announcement and that is why it did not say not fit. Now in if not, you can see we have taken this data here and say contains not fit. So if it contains not fit, that means it's true. We do not want to proceed with that. We do not want to put that into our spreadsheet. If this doesn't contain not fit, then it's a, it's a good fit and we want to process with that. If I click here, then it is not true with this formula that we just created. So it's false, it means we have to put that into spreadsheet. So we have a spreadsheet. I will show you how we can uh, connect the spreadsheet with software in order to present the data to your visitors. Now, this is the um, what spreadsheet look like. You can just uh, create it by your own title, URL, description and data. And yeah, that's it. So now every single data will be pushed here, as you can see, and then it will loop over item it will run again until 98 has been run and yeah then it will run put the qualified data into the that spreadsheet or database you can use their table you can use spreadsheet you can use maybe some other database like superbase whatever you prefer so that's the workflow look like now we are done with the workflow we have get the data that is needed in order to build our directory now we are going to use software which is a website builder, you can say, you will be able to build a directory very easily. You don't have to buy it because you can try for free. Um, you can use your own data sets and it has some limitation, but you can obviously try for free. You don't have to purchase the, uh, the, the subscription initially. So click on create new. Um, you can start from scratch. There are so many templates out there. You can find one which is suitable for you and pick, choose this and start. So I'm going to start from scratch and the database sources is basically Google sheet that we have. So if you are using Google sheet to store your data, you have to select Google sheet. If you are using Airtable, you have to choose Airtable. I'm using Google sheet and I'm choosing this. Uh, you have to connect your email, of course, and then the spreadsheet that you have the data. So I have this, um, the data in this spreadsheet, funding announcement tracker. Now, if I select it, it means which tab the data is basically. So I have that data in this tab, which is called sheet one. And as you can see, sheet one selected. Now continue. You have to wait a few seconds. It will pull all the data and yeah, here is the data. Make sure how you want to present those data. I prefer the data should be in a, in a list view. So um, in source block type, I'm going to select it to list. Yes to it. And there are so many things you can add filters. People can search with specific keywords. People can search with specific, you know, company name or whatever you would like to add here. You can do many more things. You can select and add items. So I'm just going to remove description for now. I'm going to remove the image. Just imagine a simple website with all the funding announcement and you can do many customization. You can add pictures, logos of those companies. You can add LinkedIn profile of those companies. You can add a short description or overview of those companies. You can do many things if you want. Customization is up to you. You can do whatever you want to do, but simply you can now publish it. You can preview how the website look like. This is the publicly available website that public will be visiting to your site and they will look like this. So the workflow is simple. Now we have to automate that and I didn't workflow to run. In this case, we are using schedule trigger. 
obviously you can do daily weekly whatever you want to do so i'm putting it daily and it will run every single day then it will populate the data in this spreadsheet with new data and then uh this data will be automatically synchronized to software that's your microsoft idea has been built so if you have any kind of directory ideas you can simply build it and you can run it within one day so thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next video bye